I'll be Matt Sun for Empire Radio Magazine. How are you? Hello. <laughs> yes, I'm very well, thank you. We have to say you just finished a sound check. So thank yes. you so much. You have a show in about half an hour. You do, yeah. yeah. So I know you're busy. So once again, thank you for this opportunity. No, no, thank you. It's, it's great to be part of this this evening. This is um, uh, part of Rising Stars for Time Out. And um, yeah, just very fortunate to be asked to, to play. So good. And thank you for coming down. You're yes. welcome. So let's talk about you, Max. You are from Devon. Um, for people that are not yes. from the UK, is outside London. It is, yeah. Devon is in the southwest of England. Um, I was I was actually born in Sweden, um, ah. so I am Swedish. Uh, but I spent the first uh, first part of my life uh, living in Devon mm -hmm. and uh, going back and forward. So, so I've always been in between Sweden and England. I so see. I've um, I've got many homes. And I read that you actually did a course in songwriting yeah. in Stockholm. Yes, that's right. But I was living in the, in Stockholm at the time. I just finished studying, and I, I always loved music. Um, it's always been a big part of my life, and I wanted to learn how to use um, some of the skills that I had and, and try and evolve them. So I joined a songwriting course. I thought it was great, and I thought, where where could I go to um, to get out there? You know, I was I was in the the scene in Stockholm where there was free four open mics a month, you know. So I started talking to, to friends down in Devon, they said, you know, go to London. And I looked up and found the school, the ICMP, and uh, I did that and just, you know, started gigging every night. And, you know, I could. Um, I had the opportunity, so, yeah, good. Actually, just you've been playing a lot in London. In yeah. all, let me say, in all the best venues. That you yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been lucky. I've been lucky to, to have to play a, a fair few good venues. You've been lucky and you sound amazing. Uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's talk about your your beginning. As you said, you started early, so mm -hmm. music has always been your thing, somehow, yeah. some way. And uh, if you could summarize your influences when you were growing up musically, mm -hmm. um, it's fairly straightforward. I used to listen a lot um, when I was growing up to my dad's old vinyl records. Uh, he used to have a lot of the old blues, a lot of Sun House, Muddy Waters, that kind of stuff. So I just I was living the blues, you know. Mm -hmm. Even though I was just a country kid, you know, I was walking down, up and down my lane, singing 12 bar. And um, yeah, I just, just really, really loved it. I got into soul, I got into Motown, and then I just got into everything through that. And um, yeah, so I mean, my influences probably go down to the blues guys, but you know, up into, I don't know, it's kind of, kind of hard to say, I'll just stick with the blues. Have you got one music idol that you can name? Um, a music idol. Um, it's always a hard question, um, but I'd probably say Robert Johnson in the sense of the emotion that comes out in some simple tracks. It's uh, and Sun House as well. Sun House has um, a couple of albums where it's uh, it's no instruments. It's just tapping and uh, and his voice. It's so powerful. Um, that's just incredible for me. For people that haven't heard your music yet, how would you describe it? Um, I, I would, um, I mean, it's hard to put a label on it. I'd say it's um, it's a mixture of many styles, and, and I'm always going to try and figure out what I am, but uh, but I suppose it's, um, it's um, you know, it's, it's rock music, it's soul music, it's um, hopefully popular music, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I feel that as well. Yes. And uh, Max, I know your music, and I've seen you live before, so I notice your songs always have that sort of depth and meeting, mm -hmm. and meaning. And um, what's the message that you want to pass to mm -hmm. people that are going to listen to your music? Well, I think the most important thing in music when you're writing is that the, the song comes first, the story comes first. And, and for me, I always try and have, whether it comes out in the song or not, I always try and have it so that it means something very special to me or something that I think that people can relate to. But I, what I try to do in the music is to, to spread a message of, of the knowledge that I've um, gathered for the years and maybe someone listens to it and um, gets a better understanding of things like, like I did when I listened to, um, to a lot of music growing up. So when you're creating a song, you do the lyric first, the story first? It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to say because it, it can come from a melody, you know, it can come from just whistling or having a really nice melody or it could come from a word or a, a, you know, a feeling you know, or something like that. Um, so there's, there's no set way, I think. But but uh, wherever you go, you need to stop when you're writing at some point and figure out what you're trying to say. You know, that, that's, that's what I always do. 
recently you have been collaborating with some important names in the music business, people that have collaborated with even bigger names, and I'm going to mention some of them, with Eliza Dolito, Florence the Machine, and Jojo Ezra, and how is it collaborating with people that have been working with incredible names here uh, in the UK? Well, it was quite nerve-wracking the first time I, I worked with people of such a calibre, but, um, but the more um, the more I've met people like that, I just, just see that, you know, the more... Um, the more the people are involved in the music industry, the more they love it, and and so it's never it's never been such an odd feeling. Just this kind of you know, I just want to do as much as possible when I'm around people like that. So so yeah, no, I had I had the chance to uh, to work with some some cool people. It's good. Absolutely. And talking about tonight, how are you going to structure your show? Um, yeah, so we've been invited to do uh, two acoustic numbers to start off with. So uh, we're going to do that and then. Uh, Bring in the rest of the band, and then bring in some of the production, and, uh, and let it go like that, and hopefully, you know, build it up into something. So when we leave, uh, we can still hear us. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. So looking idea. forward to it. And uh, we have a personal question: How is Max in uh, everyday life? Everyday life. Um, I'm, I'm obsessed with music. <laughs> that's that's you know it. Yeah. That's that's the thing. All I all I do, all I really think about, kind of revolves around music, and, and uh, I know it probably gets on my girlfriend's nerves, you know. But, uh, <laughs> but no, I I'm just I'm a bit of an obsessive person, so uh, I try and do as much as I can, and then we'll see how it goes. You know? It's all for the love of music. So it's that's okay. it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> and we love you, so it's okay. Thank you. Last question: What's happened to the future? What's next? Future. Um, well, I mean. Hopefully, I guess the plan is to uh, to be able to make records, and for people to be able to uh, buy or listen to those records, um, and enjoy them. And that's um, that's what my you know dream is is to uh, to accomplish. So, yeah. Well, I love you <laughs> musically, so I'm gonna always support you. So thank you for everything, thank and you. good luck with the show tonight. Thank you very much. Log on to EmpireRadioMagazine.com for the latest news in arts, culture, and entertainment. Empire Radio Magazine. Think global, not local.